everybody's always asking me what's in my box. What's in the box? It's nothing. You're disgusting. Anyway, now that I have your attention, today's video is directed at you, the ballin' on the budget guy. So, a lot of questions that we receive, I would say probably 50% of them through the chat primarily, are something uh, to the tune of what budget options do you have available? Uh, I want white phosphor binos. And that prompted us to put together this kind of arbitrary sub $5,000 presentation. I have three different options on the table that are all white phosphor binos below 5000 that $5,000 price point before tax. So the first one on the table here, first up, is the RNB31. Uh, we did a video about this housing before. They kind of rebranded, became Ricks. Um, if you want to go watch that, look in our videos for the Jerry 31 overview. Uh, I think it's our most popular video on our YouTube channel, surprisingly. This hasn't changed much since we did that video. It looks a little bit different. The optics uh, were upgraded, so I'm told. Uh, I haven't seen a real performance difference, but you know, I'm not like an expert or anything. This unit right here with 1400 to 1600 FOM in NVT tubes, I believe they are auto gated, comes in right at $4,084 before tax with a code that's active right now. Um, that will include a battery pack, a soft case, a whole bunch of other stuff like eye cups and all the shit you'll never use. This is a good option for hobbyists, hiking, whatever. Uh, we've talked about it a bunch in the past. It does have manual gain. Um, it's got IPD stops, a lot of cool features inside this goggle. And for that right around little over $4,000 price point, it's hard to beat. The next option on the table is the Rix RNV31S. Now, this bino differs from this one um, in many ways. It still uses the same 1400 to 1600 FOM tubes. Um, however, the housing is a lot different. It is still manual gain but it uses an upgraded uh, optical system that they say is uh, PVS-14 style. Uh, it does look more like a PVS-14 optic. I think the, the performance is greatly improved over the r and I almost called it the Jerry 31. You know, same tubes. It, these are both finished goods from Rick, so this isn't something we can put different tubes in for you later down the road. It is what it is. Um, you know, if you wanted to upgrade later, you would sell these. Uh, to free up funds for something else. Uh, again, both manual gain, both solid options. We have very few, I guess, warranty related issues with them. They've been solid and for the price point, again, serious competitors, contenders rather. This one I think comes in at $47.99 right now before tax. So, you know, you're paying a little bit more over the uh, RNV31 to get those better optics and, and in my opinion, just a better looking housing. It's more in line with kind of what you would expect from the uh, Western manufacturers. The last option on the table, the one that I'm most excited about, the molded Katana. So we've talked about this also. Um, with mil-spec optics and NNVT tubes installed, comes in just a few dollars under $5,000. Again, you get mil-spec optics. Those are, you know, US standard style optics, the performance is gonna be much better. And you get a housing that has a lifetime warranty and it's manufactured right here in the United States. This housing is really hard to beat. I mean, the price point, the durability, the features. You don't get an IR illuminator, but I don't think you really need that. You still do get independent pod cutoff. One of the bigger, less obvious advantages to going with a Katana uh, in this format with NNVT tubes like we just talked about is the ability to upgrade this device later. Because this takes standard 18 millimeter uh, Western style tubes, you can buy this today uh, with NNVT tubes and the optics of your, well, not the optics of your choice, but mil spec optics for sub $5,000. And if you want to later on, you can sell these tubes or you know, put them in PVS 14s or build another bino out or whatever you want to do, but you can buy a set of higher quality tubes like Elbits or L3s, drop them right into this device and use all the equipment you already have. 
and you're going to get all the performance you would expect from you know the best tubes available so that is one big competitive advantage that the the molded katana has over these two options um, i guess the future proofing or upgradability unfortunately there aren't really any options to upgrade these devices i mean you can but you're you're just going to be going with higher spec nnvt tubes which in my opinion, it's not really worth the money. If you live in the United States, you know, maybe you can't afford them right now, but at some point you should try to own uh, Generation 3 Night Vision. This is the only country on this planet where it is legal for citizens to own Generation 3 Night Vision. That should be your goal if you're getting into this hobby. Everything on this housing is very high quality. And for sub $5,000, this would be my choice, but we have options. If you have any questions about what we've talked about today, don't hesitate to call the phone number on the website. We answer that phone line almost 24 hours a day, uh, you know, if, if we're not sleeping, but usually somebody's up. DM us on any of our social medias. We'd love to talk to you about getting you set up today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.